All right, here we're supposed to, to describe um, how to transform the graph of y equals ln x, natural log of x, or y equals log x into the graph of the given function. So our original graph, let's put in a super light color. Let's do um, pink. And in both of these problems, we have the natural log. So if you remember back to your 12 basic functions, what that looks like, and if you forget, watch this. Your graph is down here, so I'm actually going to input both of those into y equals. Why do I want to show that to you? So you have um, e to the x power and natural log to the x power. The first one is blue and the second one is red. Zoom 6. Put your pencil down on your calculator between the graphs. And with your partner, think of a vocabulary word that describes your pencil. Five seconds as a review. Something from a long time ago. Does anyone know the equation of the pencil or pen? Y equals X. That is called the? inverse. Every x is a y, y equals the x. What am I trying to show you here? They are, are inverses. Okay, That's why they're like next to each other. Same thing like plus and minus. Multiplication and division. Let's go ahead and sketch the red one. So there is the parent graph. Identify where your plus 2 is. Class, is that on the inside or outside? Inside. Is it the letter A, B, C, or D? It is a C, or what I call a C. It's basically to the right of the variable. And then there you have a horizontal shift. So again, look, I'm even applying the transformations of exponentials to our logs and natural logs, so they're the same thing. Here you're doing plus 2, so if you're going plus, you're actually going where? Left. Let's go ahead and write that. Left 2. Raise your hand if you got that. And essentially what's happening is the graph is just moving over two units. So if you had a vertical asymptote here on the y-axis, that is just moving over two units, one, two. And then your graph would probably look something like this. Just to visually show you that it's moving over to the left two units. So the same thing on this one, draw your parent graph. Just a quick sketch so you can recognize it. I told you to uh, talk about what the acronym GCF stands for. Klaus, what does that stand for? Okay, so what is the greatest common factor? What did you guys say? It's a negative. Kind of tricky. Okay. Watch this. The opposite of this number equals 3. What number is that? Negative 3. The opposite of this variable equals negative x. What goes there? x. Partner B, go first. Tell one of the transformations. The other person, tell the other transformation. Raise that go. Class, what does this transformation tell you? X to the Y. Okay, 
If it was the X, it would be out here in front. So this is on the inside. I call kind of like the inside. So this is reflecting over the Y axis. And this one is what? Shifted where? How many units? So you can move it to the right three units. One, two, three. So maybe my asymptote looks like that. So I like to write my numbers. This is my first original one. This is my shifting to the right three units. And then lastly, we're going to reflect that over the y-axis. So remember your mirror is going to go that direction. It's going to go way over there. Something like this. But the big idea for now is I'm just testing you on your ability to understand the transformations, to recognize them by words, and then the visual kind of shows you what's happening.